Dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this very great day of the institution of the church, the foundation of the church. We begin our love for each other through the church by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the fire of love. Let us pray. For our mother church. Let us pray for Pope, for all the church leaders, that we may carry out all our activities with the assistance of the Holy Spirit. That all of us who are baptized may work in the ministry of the church. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, on this great day of the Pentecost, we thank God for the great gift of the church, the gift of the Spirit, which keeps us alive and active every moment. The Spirit that makes us love one another, the Spirit that makes us love God, the Spirit that remains active at every moment of our lives to communicate with each other. But for those times that we have failed to communicate with each other, for those times that we have failed in the ministry of the church, for those times that we have wronged each other, let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers my sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us glorify the Lord together as we sing. Sing praises to the living God, glory, alleluia. Come adore the living God, glory, alleluia. The sun and moon may pass away, His words will ever stay. His power is forevermore, glory, alleluia. i 
world we sing, Glory, Alleluia. Let our love and praises ring, Glory, Alleluia. To all of us, He always gives His mercy and His love. Praise Him now forevermore, Glory, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. Verses 1 to 11. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontius and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Your response. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Your response. Alleluia. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Your response? Alleluia. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. 
may the lord be glad in his works pleasing to him be my theme i will be glad in the lord the response hallelujah a reading from the first letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 12 verses 3 to 7 12 to 13 brothers and sisters no one can say jesus is lord except by the holy spirit there are different kinds of spiritual gifts but the same spirit there are different forms of service but the same lord there are different workings but the same god who produces all of them in every one to each individual the manifestation of the spirit is given for the same benefit as a body is one though it has many parts and all the parts of the body though many are one body so also christ for in one spirit we were all baptized into one body whether jews or greeks slaves or free persons and we were all given to drink of one spirit the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia come holy spirit fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john Glory to you, O God. Chapter fourteen, verses fifteen to sixteen, and twenty-three to twenty-six. Jesus said to his disciples, "If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father." and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever if anyone loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we shall come to him and make our home with him those who do not love me do not keep my words and my word is not my own It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. The foundation of the church begins by the word of Jesus himself. But the ministry of the church begins with the coming of the holy spirit the ministry of jesus himself begins with the baptism and that too with the coming of the holy spirit the role of the spirit is very important in our lives therefore it is said if any sin against the son would be forgiven but anything against the holy spirit will not be forgiven believe at this time that the spirit of god has done marvelous deeds and is still doing in the church when the disciples apostles were seated in a room on the pentecost day there was a big 
a loud sound, noise from heaven, that hit on each one's ears, heard by every individual and the whole of the community. That was a sound which was heard by an individual, the spirit that came down upon each one and as a community to the people of God. And what does this sound mean at this time? It comes with the image of the tongues of fire and bestowing on each one the gift of tongues, speaking in all kinds of languages, which indicates the universality of all the languages into one language, to understand each other easily, to know each other as the people of one God, people of one church, people who belong to each other with heart-to-heart -heart love for each other. If you remember about the Tower of Babel, there was total disruption, tension, because of the people of different, different languages. And these differences remained and affected all ways of relationships with one another. It caused disruption and destruction of individuals. But the people of the church who have the Spirit of God belong to one language or all languages are one. People begin to understand each other. There is no cultural difference. There is no difference based on languages. There are no differences of any type. All are one in Christ. Therefore, the work of the Spirit is such a unifying factor that we, the people of God, are to make no differences. Therefore, the Spirit-filled person is different from the person who is against the Spirit of God. The Spirit-filled person is filled with the gifts of the Spirit with the teachings of the Spirit, with the love of the Spirit. And the person is giving oneself to the other, self-sacrificing, self-giving to the other and not concentrating on oneself. Therefore, the church which is instituted, which is founded, is for the service of others by selling off all that we have in luxury and giving to the church so that we live as one people, one community, one race, no discriminations, no casteism, no misunderstandings of any type. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the Pentecost. And today, being the sixth day of the Novena to St. Anthony of Padua, when you look at the life of St. Anthony, when he travels with his companion, Brother Philip, going from Sicily to Assisi, a new place that brings a lot of hurdles on their journey, the Spirit of God leads them. On the way, they come across violence and disruption, tensions and killings. However, Antony and Philip were discovered to be those among the survivors. The people take them 
to a nearest friary, and there they were resting for a while. While Antony begins to think in his life, a life journey is not easy. There are a lot of difficulties and hurdles on our way. However, the life of the martyrs and giving their lives for the people was still resounding in his minds. Antony take, takes up the challenge, saying, I will now listen to the commands and orders of God rather than feeling good and wanting all the ways to be the way I want. This was the guidance of the Spirit. So my dear friends, on this day, let us ask the Lord that we may be guided by the Spirit each moment, each time in our lives. Just as St. Anthony heard the Word of God and finally began to listen to it by obeying doing the will of God rather than doing my own will. The Spirit of God inspires us. The Spirit of God motivates us. And the Spirit of God facilitates us with the love of God and love of one another. Amen. Let us profess our faith together. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he'll come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call upon the Spirit to listen to all our intercessions and prayers. We ask our dear Lord, God the Father, the Son, and the Spirit to bless our Pope, our Cardinals, Bishops, Priests, Religious, and all the laity, that together we who form the Church may be inspired by the Spirit and through this inspiration, we may guide one another. We pray that there may be unity in the church, that the church may reach out to the needy, the poor, the helpless, and the hopeless. Lord, bless all of us. We pray for the world outside, that we all may learn to listen to the promptings of the Spirit in our lives, in our works, in our family living, in all that we do. We pray for our families. We pray for our children who are appearing for the exams. We pray for those who are appearing for the interviews, for their jobs. We pray for those couples who earnestly pray for the gift of child. We pray for widows, for orphans. We pray for the poor, the needy, those hospitalized, those sufferings, those suffering due to COVID-19. We pray for all of us. Amen.
Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength, my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help. For the power of His Spirit is in my heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. I give my eyes to see the world and everyone in just the way you do. I give my tongue to speak your words, to spread your name and freedom giving truth. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength, my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help. For the power of His Spirit is in my heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength, my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help. For the power of His Spirit is in my heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress. As you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sharing the life of the Lord in the blessed.
Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very happy feast of the Holy Spirit. May you be filled with the Holy Spirit in your life. Let us say the prayer of the Novena to Saint Anthony together. I salute you, great Saint Anthony, and rejoice at the favors which our Lord has so liberally bestowed on you. I remind you especially of that blessed moment when the divine infant Jesus condescended to embrace and fondly caress you. Oh, what great happiness and joy must have filled your heart on that occasion. By this special prerogative and by the joy of your beatific vision, by which you now behold him face to face, I beg, entreat, and conjure you, O dear Saint Anthony, to help me in my afflictions, troubles, and anxieties, particularly concerning. Let us mention our intentions here. O oh, let your heart be moved to intercede for me, to hear and answer me. Tell our Lord of the wants and necessities of your devoted client. One word, one sigh from your heart, which Jesus loved so much, will crown my success and fill me with joy and gratitude. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs> Saint Anthony, our advocate in all our daily needs. Saint Anthony, our advocate in all our daily needs. Obtain for us the grace of God in our life, may we succeed. Bow down, bow down, your grace is from above. Bow down, bow down, your grace is from above. We surrender the loss to your care and your love. We pray to you, Saint Anthony. We turn to you, Saint Anthony, a model soul for all. 
the star of Padua we bump Help us to live our call We turn to you, sweet Anthony A model so far off The star of Padua we bump Help us to live our call We hail thee Do what do to pray for us. We hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee. Oh, Saint Anthony, oh, what do what do to pray for us?